Hello roomies, this video will be a do-it-yourself Rubik's Cube for an 80s or 90s birthday party. It can be used as a photo prop or as decor. If you are new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will be notified when new videos are uploaded. Let's get started. You will need four colored construction papers, five poster boards in black, scissors, and a box cutter, glue gun, glue sticks, black marker or black paint, a ruler, and a cutting board. With these supplies, you should be able to make two 10 by 10 Rubik's Cubes and one 20 by 20 Rubik's Cube. Well, you're probably wondering why we only need five black poster boards when a Rubik's Cube has six sides and only four colored pieces of construction paper. Well, one side of it will be hollow just to save money on supplies and the other side will just be a solid color color which is that black poster board and we're not using any construction paper on it so therefore we only need four colored construction papers red yellow green and blue you can choose whatever ones you want to those ones i chose and only five poster boards now the first thing you want to do is cut out all of your sides. Now for me, I will start with the 20 by 20 first, which I did do that. I started by cutting 20 by 20 on each poster board and use the remainder to cut out the 10 by 10s um, with the scrap pieces. So you're going to do this five times for each. And then you're going to measure out your squares. Now do note that the cutting board was used to uh, prevent me from cutting my table, my dining room table. So that's why I included the cutting board in my supplies. For the squares, you're going to do a little under three by three for the 10 by 10 Rubik's Cube. And for the 20 by 20 Rubik's Cube, you're going to do a little under six by six. And this is me cutting off some excess because I did six by six and three by three. So I had to go back and cut a little bit lower so that it'd have a, a good amount of black space in between each square. So you're gonna re repeat this process for each color. So just for one Rubik's Cube, you're gonna have nine of each color. And you're gonna do that for all three of the Rubik's Cubes. And now I'm just placing them on my cube, my black poster, um, in a random order. You could choose to have all sides if you solid, solid colors, but I chose to have them randomly placed. And then I went back and glued them down. Now do note that uh, hot glue do dry fast. So you want to be very quick with these. And you don't want to put like a blob of it in, in one spot because it'll uh, kind of seep through the construction paper and it'll look a hot mess. All right, so you should have four colored papers and one solid. And then I use the hot glue to attach the sides. This is a very simple DIY project and it only takes one person. The 20 by 20 might take two, but the smaller ones only takes one person.
All right, and then I'm going to glue on the top. And as you can see that some of this stuff is not aligned perfectly, but then again, this is a DIY project. It's not gonna be perfect. So if you want perfection, you should just go buy one off of Amazon or something. But this is just a DIY project. It's gonna be used for one day. The imperfections does not matter to me. Hopefully they don't matter to you. We go keep it moving. Now, we wanna go in and hide this white part that's, that's from the cuts. You want to um, use a marker or some black paint to hide all the white um, edges so it'll have a clean edge. And it also hides some of the imperfections. Now the back side I didn't do because I knew it was gonna be up against the wall. You can choose to do it or not, but I knew that mine was gonna be up against the wall. And that's basically it, y'all. That is my DIY Rubik's Cube for a 90s party that I attended. If you like this video, definitely comment, like, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And again, as always, thank you for watching. Check the description box for any details related to this video. Thanks again.